Hello everyone, this is Prussian Prince with our Imperator Rome Let's Play episode is Phrygia. So, basically done what we needed to do here. Um, we have secured a lot of land. But we need to look at further strengthening our forces. So we have mostly... Yeah, this this is archers and light cav, that's okay. This is heavies and light infantry, that's okay. Because we can get phalanx going and stuff. However... Yeah, we want heavies and light cav more like it's uh, more useful um all right so we have what are these guys here for nine thousand what i'm not quite sure is a recruiting to army here no we're not okay what i'm gonna do is i'm going to like split off a lot of these guys We need to split them off, so um, basically what we want to do with these guys is we want to have 1k stack sieging so we don't murder the population where we actually siege territories. Again, I've explained this multiple times. Um, now what's going to be the next strategy, the next target? Well, we could be going east into Seleucids, but I feel like I don't want to run into Moria yet, right? So while we are fairly strong, I'd rather use the Seleucids as a buffer against Moria to this still so you know but it's going to be much easier to attack into Macedon but we could definitely be trying that um, they have a bunch of forts and stuff though they oh, they actually don't have any Wow okay okay breaking truce with Egypt <gasps> this isn't that's pretty annoying I don't like this. I can't declare war on them because they're guaranteed. What? That shouldn't... That shouldn't be a thing. Like, that's really annoying here. Oh, and Judea is a subject, of course. It's a subject. Egyptian revolt here. What? Zernaika. Um, You know what? This doesn't actually sound too bad. The thing is, we have a bunch of AE, so... Mm. Our AE isn't that high. And also... We totally forgot to do one thing. Check our ruler family. Primary heir. Let's marry him. He's unmarried. He's 42 years old. Jesus. Find him a young and lustful wife. I believe there's a lustful trait, but I don't remember in this game. Um, anyway, these ones are old, so let's just pick this one. 22 years old. Fair enough. This is a pretender. Um, primary heir then we have daughters and stuff oh well she can't marry she's i mean it's worthless if she marries okay this woman not this woman but this one will go with let's go with that one 30 years old could be married you should marry as well into say 34 years old whatever right all right so we got some marriages going um these units here aren't doing that best thing that they could be doing but anyway we should be yeah we are gonna be eating a bunch of people here um no i almost clicked the wrong thing okay we need to gift to knidos and then these guys and then we wait one month of course i don't want to get mercenaries like what is that <laughs> all right so on speed four Oh boy, there is lag. Pirates don't. <laughs> Tradition, so this costs 520, that is okay. Alright, we got an invention here, and it's lagging. Let's pause again. Um, the Architectura is great, actually. Marine Auxilia, all this stuff. The Omen stuff isn't great. Sacrifice to gods, not a good idea, because we already have three stability. Navy morale, eh range i mean this stuff is pretty decent but you know what we want we want the the right to be heard you know what the architectura sounds really good actually we have a bunch of money in the bank which we want to spend if we look at our capital antigonia this stuff should be promoted there we go we have promoted it um now that should help our tech a lot more because our tech is pretty bad. Let's see, we're at 333 three, three rooms at... Also 333, three, three, huh? Egypt should be better. Yeah, Egypt. Because Egypt actually has really good tech in this game. Macedon maybe as well. Yeah, there you go. Macedon's slightly better in tech. Um, 
Yeah, Antigonia, something, 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 something. And I kind of... I'll actually get all the citizens in here, right? So we will actually just be buffing. Bush Jindaros. This one here. This one here. This one. Basically upgrading everything we can, right? Okay, let's sort by, say, number of citizens. Western Delta. Alexandria. Oh boy, that's a lot of them. <laughs> now Kratis. I mean, actually, they've built pretty much everything here, so there's no need for me to build anything. Right? So that's actually quite fine. It's amazing. Um, Right, now other stuff. Here we will want to start integration. Midos. And then we will want to integrate these guys here. Boom. Will take some time, but you know, that's all good. Now we will be wanting to go on Macedon, but how long is our truce with Egypt? Civil War, yeah, of course. Um, 500? 492 with Brace only. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. If we go against their Egyptian revolt, they only have 10 cohorts. Wanna send another stack here? Boom. Hello, sir. Uh, not shock action. You actually want to be doing phalanx. Send them here. I will send this 9k stack here because, you know, these guys need to siege. Um, right. You guys here. We will send another 10k stack because, you know, we can do that. 9k stack here. Um, Alright, so the next stuff. Okay, what we'll be doing is actually pretty simple. I'm gonna make another stack here. Um, but actually... Oh, why is it lagging so much? Feels bad, man. Come on, yay, recover! Recover! No... No... <clears throat> I guess we ran into the glitch, where, you know, it slows down. Or does it? I'm not sure, let's save the game anyway. <laughs> okay, I saved the game. There goes V3. Hope for the best. Oh, it's running! I guess it was a really long... It, it might still be the pirates, it might not be the pirate glitch. But you know, that's really sad that... kind of stuff still is happening. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad. Let's see if we actually see some pirates that we need to kill. I'm gonna pause the game again. Are there any pirates? I don't see any pirates anywhere, that's that's the thing. Because if I did, I would kill them easily. Well, not easily, but, you know. Where are pirates? I mean, I don't see anywhere anything, right? So... Hmm... That looks pretty good. Okay, well, hopefully the game is gonna turn to normal <laughs> and not keep lagging like that. Um, hopefully. Let's just hope. We're making a bunch of money, which is amazing, by the way. No, not again. Big lag spike again. I assume, yeah, you should still be able to hear me, but, you know, the game's freezing again. Kind of stuff that's not great. Speaking of this kind of stuff, um, basically, like, I haven't actually said what I think about the game yet, but personally I think that the game's base is very good. I very much dislike the mana mechanics though, I really don't like all this old board game kind of stuff, like it just doesn't feel good in a game such as this one. I hated mana in U4, I hate it even more so here. Like. I don't like this mana mechanic in a strategy game, you know, I much prefer something like CK2 or Victoria 2. Like just doing stuff in an organic fashion, right? Like, that's how I like things to be. But that being said, as I said, I really like the game, but there are things that can be improved on. And also, there are issues with the performance and optimization, as you can clearly see here. Uh, well, not just here, but, you know, in 
particular situations. Like I get stuttering and that sort of stuff, which is supposed to be fixed by the way. But yeah, I have a GDX 1080, 4790K i7 CPU. And you know, like not, not the best stuff, but decent stuff, you know, so shouldn't be running like like this i think but they did mention that they're working on performance and stuttering and actually i believe today or soonish there should be a um, patch for imperator dimitrius patch basically a hotfix patch which they said should help at least with a bit of the stuttering and stuff because this is getting a bit ridiculous at this point as you can tell but you know it's still at least going compared to the games with the pirates where, you know, it was totally freezing up and nothing was working from that point. Yeah, that's the thing though. Okay, so we're pretty much almost here. What? Cappadocia is here. Well, that's quite funny. Well, not funny, but, you know. Oh my god, and it's freezing again. <laughs> this is so sad. It has to be the pirates, right? Like, I'm assuming that's what it is, because that's what caused the freezes for me before. And they had to be deleted. Well, I had to kill them with ships for to stop that. Because it was literally unplayable. Maybe the same thing is going to happen again. I'll consider the Iron Manning the game again. And uh, fixing the pirates, because this isn't really great. And it's not 100% unplayable, but as you can see, definitely getting, again, another stutter here. Not ideal. Um, okay, we got an auto save here. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, our land here is pretty decent. If we look at the nation overview, we've got mostly Hellenistic, which is awesome, by the way. Um, all right, we have people here. Nine K stack barbarians. Okay, barbarians. I want to pay them off. Oh no 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 no. Rock tip reforms. Oh, we have eight K here. It's too too bad that we aren't gonna get there. Military reforms. Oh my god. Yes, national unrest is fine. Morale and definitely take that. That's a big bonus. Oh my god. And that's gonna take me a huge time, huge amount of time. So I might as well just pay them off. Whatever. I have a lot of money. I can do it. No, not our stutter. What should they want anyway? Ooh, that's a bunch of money. I pay them off. The thing is, there's a, also a glitch with barbarians where they still loot, even if, you know, even if you pay them off. So that is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, the save is getting really crazy with lag. Not a good thing. Um, at least it's still working, you know? It's working. wonder if, like, there must be pirates that somewhere that AI isn't taking care of. We don't see them, so... Bit of a shame here, but... Okay, this guy is... These guys are all losing loyalty. If I paid extra wages... No, I, I already was paying extra wages and they're still losing. Wow. That is pretty crazy. Um, all right, so we're gonna increase the for the fleet maintenance and fort maintenance when it stops lagging. There we go. We're third, so not too much more to work on. You know? Yeah, like we have a massive divider compared to Rome, though. That's an issue. Like that is a huge divider. <laughs> Okay, so there we are. Our troops are arriving here. Um, I really... The Egyptian revolt. I want to eat them, right? Like, do they have any forts? They do not. So, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to send a couple of stacks this way. As we can. And, um... Yeah, they only have 10 cohorts. So, I mean, I can send a stack there as well. Just to defend these small little siege stacks, right? So... That's gonna be more than enough. Now this is the Egyptian revolt here. Egypt wants to get trade with me. Well, that's pretty funny. Okay, so this is the desert here. Army maintenance is doing good. Let's make it higher just in case, you know, just in case something weird happens. Okay, I'm gonna wanna send the troops west. In Leucaspis. 
And when they're in Leo Caspis, we'll declare war on Egypt. Oh. These major lag spikes are not a good thing, of course. Fighting Cyrenaica is going to be pretty cool, because we could actually... There are no forts here? Are you crazy? Oh my god, there aren't any forts here. Okay, that's the capital there. I'm on. We need to get that as well. Okay. And then here is Petra. There it is. We send one there. We send one here. Very good. Alright then. When we get to Leo Caspis, we'll declare war. Um, we'll actually send the stack there as well, just in case. Well, not just in case. I'm sure we'll actually meet the Egyptian revolt. At some point, at some point very soon, actually. Right, so we got our points, um, civic power. We're going to go for the citizen output, probably. Probably that's going to be a good one. Oh, it's actually dropping? What? No, it's actually not a good research efficiency, 67%. Maybe for Phrygia it might be decent, but you know, it's not really that great. The lag, the lag. At least we married some people this in this episode because of the advice i totally forgot about that thing marrying people off okay so we want to take libya or arabia what what is far okay does it show here please tell me it no it doesn't so it's this one or if not that one it's parva what is parva it's that one you know what? Yeah, let's go. Wait, wait, what? And Parva? That's kind of like what Egypt owns, isn't it? So that's a little bit, well, not just a little bit, but extremely weird. Anyway, declare war on Farfara. Wait, Parva is closer to us. Yes, go for Parva. Boom. Go! Okay, so we've declared war. Of course, we are no longer importing, so that's fair. Um, now we have invention. Right to be heard, blah blah blah. Right to be heard, go for it. Okay, just go. And then we go to Paraitonian, and then we will move people up here. Maybe not yet, you know, because I don't know where the stacks are. Oh, I totally forgot about these guys. And let's speed down to three. There's an unused thingy majingy here, which is okay. Thingy majingy. <laughs> um, now in Alexandria, we kind of want to... Producing... We're, we should be producing the... Where are we actually producing papyrus? Not here, I guess. Supposed to be papyrus somewhere, right? That's leather. Just tell me where... Oh, there it is. There it is in Memphis. Lots of papyrus because the slaves. The slaves are very good. <clears throat> Love it. Give me the papyrus. <laughs> Alright, we're moving these guys up. I, mean, I don't care if we take a little bit of attrition here. Because we're gaining more than we take attrition anyway. Okay, I'm gonna move to Eboda here. This is a plain province. Our sieges are happening, of course. And they're gonna keep happening. But yeah, I wonder if, like, we should be able to take this just in time, you know. Okay, so we actually got the siege. Go to Apis over there. Um, and move up slightly over here because we're gonna let that stack from behind the siege further. We're gonna move this one to the right. We're getting more and more war score here. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Climax here. Climax. Oh, these guys aren't really sieging right now. That's the funny thing. Because they're actually taking attrition. <laughs> Alright then. Um, I will actually go ahead and help you guys siege. You're not really sieging right now. Desert. Deras. Um, yes. Okay. Keep going ahead with the sieging. Yeah, these guys aren't really sieging right now. Which is fair. One, give me the siege. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna go west because I feel like with this thick here, we might be just fine. Come on. Oh, we didn't actually reinforce. Um, all right then. Anyway, so we got that siege. I thought it would actually reinforce there though. Huh, weird. 
985. We want to go to their capital there then. Um, we actually got a bunch of sieges here, which is awesome. Oh, no, no, do not. I was going to send the wrong stack forward. <laughs> Okay, so again, if we look at Diplomat mode, we are at war with Cyrenaica, which is okay, by the way. Do they have a fort? They should have. Yeah, they have one fort over there. How many troops do they have? They have, like, 23 cohorts. Okay, that's more than I expected. So I'm going to send you guys on a force march mission. Send them over there. That should do it. Um, but anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. See you all next time.